This video will look at the line-by-line -line PDF coding capabilities of EpiReviewer 4. Many reviews look at qualitative research data to carry out a thematic synthesis. This data is often presented in textual format and may come from various methods of collection, including discussions, surveys, and interviews. The reviewer will want to examine this information to identify analytic and descriptive themes. Part of this process may involve line-by-line -line coding of the material to identify and locate text within the documents and apply codes to that text to support these themes and concepts. This process can also be called inductive coding. EpiReviewer 4 allows line-by-line -line coding directly on your uploaded PDFs. The reviewer is able to highlight relevant areas of text and assign codes to that text. This information can then be presented using different report formats including conceptual relationship diagrams. To begin, you may wish to create a new code set in the Codes tab of the Toolbox panel, although you could work with an existing code set if you choose. For clarity, we have called this code set Inductive Coding. Next, select the document that you are going to code in the Documents tab of the Home panel. This will take you to the Document Details window. We have already uploaded a PDF for this item, but if you haven't, you just need to click the Upload button and select the PDF from your computer. The uploaded PDFs are displayed in the table of uploaded files. To begin the coding process, click on View in the View PDF column to open the document. It will be displayed in the PDF tab. To assign a code to selected text, highlight a relevant section of the document. Next, select the appropriate code in the Inductive Coding Code Set. If an appropriate code does not exist, you can right-click the code set and create a new one. The selected code will be displayed at the top of the page in the cyan colored box. Finally, click on the Add Code to Selected Text icon. This is the icon that is the small green plus symbol. This action will assign the selected code to the highlighted text. You can also click on the A key of your keyboard to assign the code. The selected text will now be highlighted in yellow. Removing a code from highlighted text is done the same way, except you would select the Remove Code from Selected Text icon. As before, you can click the D key on your keyboard and place a clicking on the icon. In the PDF tab, you can zoom in and out using the plus and minus lens icons or select a specific zoom percentage. If you are looking for a particular text in the document, you can search for it using the Find Text box. EpiReviewer also allows you to annotate your document. Annotations are short comments that can be added to the PDF and accessed by other members of the review team. They should not be used to hold coding information as they cannot be searched, exported, or included in reports. To add an annotation, click the Show Annotations button to display the annotations column. Now double click in the column where you want the annotation to display. This will open the new annotation window where you can enter your comment and then click Save. The annotation will be displayed in the semi-transparent right-hand column. Double-clicking an existing annotation will allow you to edit or delete it. Annotations can be dragged up and down within a page, but cannot be moved to a new page. When the annotations are visible, the Annotations button will change to Hide Annotations. Clicking on the Annotations button now will hide the Annotations column. PDF documents can have a very complex internal representation of text and layout, and interpreting this information can sometimes be difficult for the software. If a user selects a section of text that contains hidden characters, it can be difficult to later remove coding from that hidden text. To overcome this issue, there is a reset option. If you select the code you want to remove and click Reset, the Reset PDF Coding window will appear. This window shows the current code and the current page number. You can then choose to uncode text from the current page or from the entire document. We should mention that it is also possible to carry out line-by-line -line coding on Word and text documents. The main difference between coding in a Word or text document, as opposed to working in a PDF, is that you will be working in the extracted textual content of the document. This means that the formatting of the document will not be preserved. To extract the text from a non-PDF document, click on Go in the View Text column. The extracted text minus its formatting will be displayed in the Text Document tab. Please note that if you have your document in Word, you might want to convert it to PDF to make use of the PDF line-by-line -line coding functions. To see what text has been assigned to a particular code, you just need to select the code on the left-hand side of the screen. The text assigned to that code will be highlighted in yellow throughout the document. If you select Report All Text Coded with this code, 
All instances where this code has been applied across all studies will be displayed in the report viewer. The report viewer is a text editor that will allow you to format and print your report. The selected text can also be displayed in the configurable reports that you can create in the reports tab. If you minimize the report column to edit the column's details, you can specify whether the selected text will be displayed in the report or not. When you run your report, the code selected and the text associated with that code can be displayed. Finally, after codes have been applied to the textual data, App Reviewer can be used to show the relationships between those codes in conceptual diagrams. This is done in the Diagrams tab. If you right-click a code in the Codes tab while you're in the Diagrams tab, you can select Insert in Diagram. The code will be placed in the diagram where you can adjust its position and color and connect it to other codes using arrows. For more information about App Reviewer 4, please see our other videos or go to the App Reviewer 4 Gateway. The web address is shown on the screen.